The North Clackamas School District is excited to bring back students in its hybrid program. In accordance with the Oregon Department of Education and Oregon Health Authority's Ready Schools Safe Learners guidance document. While we won't cover all of the 160 plus protocols in the guide, here's a look at what you'll find when you return to school. Some students will ride the bus to school, while others will provide their own transportation. In all cases, parents will be asked to evaluate their child's health each day before sending them or taking them to school. If they are exhibiting a fever, cough, or any of the other symptoms in the Too Sick for School flyer, they need to keep their child at home. Their child can engage in CDL if they feel well enough, even if they are supposed to be attending in person that day. Upon boarding the bus, the driver will ask the student how they are feeling. If the student seems to be doing well, they will be asked to sit in the first available seat with an X nearest the rear of the bus. Only siblings or members of the same household can sit together on the bus. Otherwise, only one child per seat is allowed. The first thing you'll notice is signage outside the building reminding everyone, including students, staff, and parents dropping off, to socially distance. Outside some of the entrances, you also might see these simple blue markings every six feet apart. Depending on their classroom or grade level, all students will have a designated door they use to enter and exit the building. This is to limit the number of students at any one door and ensure they can socially distance. As students arrive, they will be greeted by a staff member who completes a visual screening, making sure kids are not showing any concerning symptoms such as a cough, shortness of breath or difficulty breathing and ensuring they have a face covering in place. Speaking of face coverings, you'll see signs reminding staff and students about their requirement at all times. All staff and students are to use hand sanitizer every time they enter and exit the building. As staff members and students walk down hallways to get to their classrooms, you'll see signs on the walls reminding them to keep six feet apart at all times. There are also markings on the floor to show six feet of distance. You'll find these markings in any areas where kids may need to line up, such as hallways leading to the playground or their classroom. Each classroom has been measured to ensure a minimum of 35 square feet per person, and all desks are arranged with six feet of space between them in all directions. Students will occupy the same workstation each day, as will instructional assistants working in classrooms. Signs in classrooms will remind everyone to practice good hygiene by washing hands and utilizing hand sanitizer whenever possible. Remember to bring your own reusable water bottle each day, since classroom and hallway drinking fountains will not be available. Custodial staff will disinfect frequently touched items once throughout the day and again at the end of the day. Disinfectant and paper towels will be available for staff use in every classroom. As students head to the playground, they'll use hand sanitizer both on the way out and on the way back into the building. All play equipment, including the play structure, will only be available to one cohort at a time. Like all other areas, main office staff members will wear face coverings, socially distance, and frequently wash hands. They're also working behind plexiglass barriers as an added level of protection. Whenever on school grounds, all students and staff must wear face coverings at all times. Schools will have disposable face coverings available in case any are misplaced or need replacement. These are just some of the many safety measures the North Clackamas School District has put in place to ensure children and staff members at each of our schools return to a hybrid model where everyone is safe and able to learn. We're looking forward to seeing you soon.